Happy Tuesday, everybody. I wasn't even going to do no show. I wasn't, but I had a cankering for some hamburgers. But, you know, if you know me, it just can't be a hamburger. So, hamburger. So, it's an event. I made um, just um, cheeseburgers with the Swiss cheese. Kind you see on and Kroger commercials. The kind you see on commercials, period. Not just Kroger. And I got my bacon. I got my lettuce, tomatoes. I got my onions. And I got my fried egg. I'm doing Swiss bacon royales. Oh, and of course... You already know. You already know. Got to incorporate veggies and fruits with your meals. You have to. And of course, since y'all know I love ginger ale, ginger, Sprite with ginger, ginger. Today, I got the ginger ale with the lemonade. This going to be good. All right. I'm hungry. Haven't had breakfast. Haven't had lunch. It's a little after three. This is the meal for today. So let's get it in. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this food that we're about to receive. May it nourish our bodies and strengthen our minds. In your name we both pray. Amen. Where to start? You know that little dude was waiting on me to close my eyes. Indian, not Indian summer, that's in the fall. Indiana, our weather is messed up. I got my, my salad got, oh, my salad got my croutons, my onions, my tomatoes, my regular stuff, same stuff I put in my salad every day. You know, when I have salads, I think if I, if I have a show tomorrow, I'll probably be, Remember the uh, Great Northern Beans I was talking about? Oh, man. Crave. I'm tasting them. You know how you have a taste for something in your mind? You could literally taste it in your mouth before you even put it in your mouth. That's what's going on. Uh, that's what's going on with the, um, the Great Northern Beans. Oh, man. Got my number one salad. We got steak fries. I told him to get some French fries from the local Kroger. But I, I told him whatever kind. You know, I didn't say get no specific kind. And he got steak fries. That's fine. Put a little ketchup. I don't want to go crazy. Okay. Love that kucha is real soft. It's subtle. You know what I'm saying? Ah. Let me start off first by saying this. Oh, and I got the onion roll uh, hamburger bun bread. Remind me of Arby's to a point. I got some. Thank you so much. No, check out those. Yeah. Let's start by saying happy belated birthday, Billy D. Williams. 83 years strong. Get it, boy. You still look cute. My mother had the biggest, oh, biggest crush on Billy D. Williams. Ain't nothing else to say about it. That's what it was. That's what it is. Nah. Well, your sleepy partner over here, your silent partner, we're waiting on somebody to sleep. Julie's. Anyway, oh, um, I forgot a pickle spear. That's the deal. Pickle spear. Might be open there. 
Where's the dill pickle squares? Pickle? I don't know why I asked number one did he want a pickle. He loved pickles. He's one of them stop people. My he's one, stop it, Michael Moore. He's one of them people that he'll drink the pickle juice after it's all gone. One of them people. <laughs> Which I don't care. Sometimes I save them because you can use it to cook different things. Or if you're making a, a dill dip, you use the dill juice. Julius, he's known as the food grabber. If you're not paying attention, he'll walk right up to you, go on your plate, Take what he want off and walk away. Like, he paying rent here. He got my nephew for a piece of pizza from Domino's. Look at that. Got bacon on it. Mmm. Michael said, Joel said, I want a Royale. I want to try that bacon stuff. That woman had a set of twins, fraternal twins, boy and girl, named the Corona and COVID. She ain't got nothing else to do. I guess she want to remember forever the year that it broke out. That stuff gonna evolve and turn us all into zombies. The Walking Dead, for real. Resident Evil. Yeah, Mikey said Resident Evil. Yeah, same difference. Mm. 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 See the back there? You see the back there? You see the back there? Mm. I don't know why she doing that. I know why you doing it. Be quiet, mama. This has satisfied my craving. Because I want it burn. I think about going. All right, to Hardee's or something like that. So wait a minute, you got hamburger in there? 
You got onions, pickles, lettuce. So you got all the vegetables. You can make your own. And it's better. And I got to save gas. I didn't have to go and, and waste no gas. It's going to do nothing. Mm -hmm. Right. What you think, number one? Good? Oh, yeah. I forgot to turn my notifications off. There you go. Hmm? Oh, that's good. Oh, my mom, I hear your game so much. I hear that. The coin master. But no need to waste no money. Gas either. Still waiting for my buddy Q to come over. He done fell off. Ever since he done got in that car wreck. And total out of his car. That boy ain't dependable. Mm. You know, I feel for him. But. Y'all was talking about you want to play, you want to play. You never come over. I called you yesterday. You missed out. Call you today. You missing out. Whatever. He watches. He missed out. But. Oh. For you young folks who don't know who Billy D. Williams is. It's more than Billy D. Williams. Than Star Wars. Way more. I need to Google it. Do some Lady Sing the Blues. Do some mahogany. Do something. Twerk. <laughs> my number one said, my dog Chubb said she twerked for a sandwich. See? Look at her, turn around. She turned around. So you told you she tried to work. She went sit down. <laughs> she wants a sandwich. <laughs> she wants a sandwich. She said, I'll twerk for a sandwich. Give one of yours. Uh -uh. I ain't got no sandwich. I'm going to give her that hat. What hat? Right. I ain't nothing really going on today. Except Indiana's damn weather. It's like 75 degrees. We got the air on, y'all. Open those up. Stop folding the hair before you can go. 75 degrees. Just a couple of days ago, it was like 30. Like I told you, that's the coronavirus. It's the weather. Keeping people sick. But you know they got them clouds. Them weather clouds that the government has made. That's old. That's old news. They make it rain. They make it snow. They make it do what they want to do. Is this movie called The Core? It has that, uh, I don't know his name. Excuse me, honey. I don't know your name. It's the little white dude, the little nerd from Hustle and Flow, the the one that do the beats, the light skinned one, you know. <laughs> Man, he's like a super genius. 
And the world has stopped spinning. The core has died. So they're trying to find a way to restart the core. And which I already believe that they got, they done dug so deep in the earth, they done messed something up. In the movie, they had nuclear weapons down by the core. They had to go under the ocean and everything. They had a special uh, vehicle that the father from um, Romeo Must Die, Aaliyah's dad in that show, he plays in it. And he's a scientist. And the guy stole his idea. And about the super drill car. So the guy that stole his idea went back to him and said, hey, we need help from you to build your car. You know, your special ship. He said, wait a minute. You're going to steal my idea. Then come back to me because you don't know how to make it work. He, yeah. He, I ain't helping y'all do shit. They said then the government, the uh, the uh, FBI agent that was there, whoever he was, he gonna say, well, how much it costs for you to uh, work with us? He said, I think he said a billion dollars or a hundred billion dollars. I mean, he said an incredible amount. And he said, done. Now let's get to work. I said, damn. But you have to think, if you fail and unable to jumpstart the earth, all that money they just gave you, it don't even matter. Because you ain't even got none. Everybody did. But everybody rich on paper. The core. I don't want to tell too much of it. Because... You should try to, you know, look it up, Netflix it, Hulu it, whatever. All these new channels these young folks got. I think I have a copy of the core here somewhere. You ever ate your salad yet? He smashed his burgers though. I'm gonna have this probably night. And everything else? No. I'm trying to eat it. But. I'm not going to overstuff myself. I ain't heard anything from my nephew, DJ. Hey, DJ. He subscribed. He watched. He might call today. Finally put enough onions in my salad. Look at that. Mm. I was not I'm going to do a show today, but I'm about to eat. Might as well have lunch with some of my friends, family, shoot the chip. He was all on my side. Everything. 
couch, everything. Him, Michael, and our dog Jules. They got like a light love hate relationship. Mike Bionni boy. I'm trying to find my stuff. We got the arrow automatic. When it comes on, I go, ah. Oh. I don't want to start blasting the air. Because then, that's your light bill. You know what I'm saying? Last month, I remember my light bill was like $60 or something like that. But I had a credit. Which only made my light bill $15. I'm cool with that. I still ain't paid it yet. I'll pay it next week. Pay a little three, two, three dollar late fee. I'd rather take it to them. You know they charge you almost what three or five dollars to make your payment over the phone. And then the credit card company, if you have a debit card, they charge you a dollar per transaction. And then the four, five dollars. So it's like six, seven dollars to pay my bill. Are y'all crazy? The bill ain't number fifteen dollars. I can run that down there. Damn, y'all just want all the money. All the money. <laughs> all of it. I'm straight. Outdoorsman is on. I watch it sometimes, but I don't watch it a lot. Sometimes they say some funny stuff. Tim Allen, the only thing I really remember about him, when he first started doing comedy, he used to do the man grunt, oh, 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 like men are pigs or something. That used to be cute. But my favorite comedian from back in the day, hands down, Louis Anderson. Oh, yeah. my God. Louis Anderson, he used to make these skits about his mom and his brothers and stuff. Had a great yeah, car shows about it. So did um, Howie Mandel. Bobby's World. Yeah. Love that, too. Yep. Hi, Bobby. Used to love watching that every morning. On Saturdays. Now you can live stream cartoons, Disney. I know, at any time. So, what's the point of waking up early in the morning? We can just watch it that afternoon when you do decide to wake up. That was the whole fun point of it, was waking up early. I didn't like getting up early. Saturdays was my only day off. I went to school Monday through Friday. Saturdays and Sundays was my day off. I wish we had DVR back in the day. You hear me? I would have DVR my cartoons. Bam! Who remembers? If you're from Indiana. Well, I'm sure it might have been all over the United States. On Saturday mornings. Did you throw it something? Don't do that. Kiss used to come on. And with all that makeup and all that stuff. And then the menudos. All that. That's a little group. I think they were all Hispanic. They had a couple of cute little songs. I don't remember not one of them. But I remember they were real colorful, you know, light blue, pastel colors, you know. And all the little girls loved them. 
girls in my class were all over. Menudo. Mm -mm. Different ages. Wow. Number one said, "Did the Menudos hang out with the Men with the Menendez brothers?" I said, mm -mm. "Poor taste joke." Number one. Number two, whole different age uh, uh, bracket. Mikey said, let him make his corny jokes. Well, not just corny, poor taste. But it is what it is. So what y'all doing today? Have y'all heard anything about when the quarantine's letting up? Really? Well, allegedly, this should be the last month. Allegedly. But we will see. No matter me. I'm comfortable at home. Everything I need is right here. Got my number one. I got my dogs. We got my TV. I got y'all. I need somebody to talk to. I think y'all play. You come over and sit and talk to me. I love our afternoon rendezvous. Pickle. Yeah, pickles are cucumbers. Oh. I'm ignoring you. You're back on that fruit back kick. The, uh, veggie rabbit season. Now that veggie question. Samurai rabbit. Veggie samurai rabbit. Oh! What's the name of the show he's watching? What, Samurai Jack? No, boy with the people, the strong ninja people. Oh, oh, the 10 worst people you don't want to meet. 10 people, what was it? 10 people or something you don't want to meet. The 10 people you wouldn't want to meet, the fight or something. Yeah, they got it. You know Putin hell. is a level 8 or 9 black belt? 9. He's uh, 9 because he's, he's higher than Chuck Norris. And Chuck Norris is an eight. Chuck Norris is an eight. Poop. Chuck Norris found out. He said, "No." President Putin from Russia is a level nine black belt. God, I didn't doing? know that. That nigga said, "I control the world and kick ass." Mike said he want to ask him, "What you do all day?" He said, "Putin was saying I control the world and want to kick ass." Boy. So if there's a war, and you bust in their White House or the Kremlin or whatever, and he in there, you he think gonna you gonna you take up. him hostage? He gonna kick your ass. Now you bust in the White House and to get Trump, Trump and their toupee gonna run and hide in the closet because he can't fight. You probably start windmilling people. Ain't gonna do that. We gonna the closet. Probably throw his wife in the way. Get him, sock slava, whatever her name is. Sock <laughs> slava. I don't know a fucking name. Get him, Stock Sauber! I ain't never been so uninterested in the uh, presidency in my life. I need to keep pay more attention. That's what they want you to do, not pay attention. That's the name of the job. That's the name of the game. Do not look at me. But don't you look at me. It's just so annoying. With fucking kid? little hands. And I always turning his head when he talks. I mean, he don't have no real much. And then when he shake, wait a minute, they showed a clip here how he shake people's hand. 
He shake that hand and won't let go. They be trying to pull away. He hold him. What is it, some type of tug of war? Nigga, give me back my arm. I'm stronger than you. My arm is better than yours. I don't know what that is. Now he's sitting there thinking all this shit in his head while he's holding their hand. They, they've been ready to let go. He's still. And my soldier can kick your soldier's ass. That one guy, he had to shake his head like, man, let me go. See, to me, that's an intimidation type of movement. You know what I'm saying? Power. This, this intimidation, power, all the same. Like a power move. There ain't no power move. If you don't let me go, I'm going to blow you up. Not the not United States. You. I will fuck my MMS with this at you. I don't know, I might try to eat a little bit. I ain't gonna be able to eat the whole thing. No, you're not. I know, as I say, I'm not. Why don't you just cut it in half and then you only eat half? Yeah. And then you'll have a half for later. Well, that's what you choose to do. Good idea, huh? Yeah, it has merit. Look at that one. What does that mean, Mr. Frizzle? It's a fact. It has some truth to it. You're so smart, Mr. Frizzle. Have a little merit to it. We don't even hear the name I keep calling it. I heard you Miss Fickle or whatever. Frizzle. Who's that? Frizzle. Mm-mm. The lady who drives the magic school bus. Mm-mm. You never watch the magic school bus? Never watch the magic school bus. I'm sure you'll pull me up some later. Yeah. You gotta be willing to watch it. That is my episode. Miss Ridley used to take them kids everywhere. One time she took them in, in the rain clouds, shrunk the bus down. Imagine the school bus. I don't understand how you never seen that. What's the name of the one with the little worm? Well, worm. Bookworm. Yeah, but he has an apple. He drives an apple car. I ain't talking about Richard Scary. Um, Who? Busy World. Yeah, I like that. I know my old school cartoons. I like those. All my cartoons I know is the cartoons I like. I like Silas from Pinwheel. I don't know who the fuck that is. Well, then you don't know no old school cartoons. That's the cartoons I like. Stop bragging about some shit you don't know. Cartoons I like. Pinwheel, nigga. From Nickelodeon. I used to watch that one show with the nasty dude. What the nasty dude? The one be blowing in his tissue and on his shirt and shit. Uh-uh. And kids. Uh-oh. You can't do that on television. That was Bart. He, yeah, he I heard that. And he, wow, that dude, but seriously, I don't know how that They'll come in, they'll come in, they'll say, oh my God, there's like a dead possum on the road. Where? He, there he is getting his shovel and shit to go out there and get. Then he put in his food, allegedly. And he ran out saying, and here's the crazy thing. The I don't know, you just flying. still doing good, though. Them same little tired six kids will go. They must have been paying $1,000 a bird. I don't know what they were paying, but I know that man's restaurant, it wasn't, for some reason, it just wasn't ready to close. Well, dude moving around now. He see, I ain't there. He see, I ain't eating no more. Now he done moved on your side. Yeah, I'm done. I'll probably pick with my salad some more. I know you're going to pick with that. Maybe pick with your pickle just a tad bit. What pickle? I ate that pickle. That pickle gone. Or your salad next. Yeah, my salad next. Look at you just eating off the vegetables. You damn near wanted to go through your burger and just pick off the vegetables and leave the meats. And then put the meats up for later. I'm glad you guys stopped in. I wasn't doing nothing. I wasn't doing nothing. Maybe one day I'll actually sell you a hard teddy rub skin. Rub skin? Rub skin. Teddy Rupskin. That was a hard name to say. 
I keep wanting to say Rumble still skin. I don't know why. No, because it just sounds good. Definitely sounds good. Oh, but she does collect her Barbie. Uh uh-uh, uh, leave that stuff alone. I'll just go show the mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Barbies. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I don't know about your Barbies. I'm talking about my Barbies. Oh, but you don't want nobody to see you actually really got them. No. You can't be a thug if you got Barbies. I don't want to move this rough to house. Oh, yeah. No. And guess what? What? You're still my thug, even with your Barbies. You can hit on me. Ah! What was that? Was it Jules? Oh, yeah, maybe they don't want you to move. They're letting you know. Don't move us. Keep it here. Watch. Watch no, I'm not moving. That was a pinch to let you know we are here. Like I'm going to have to camp. make an appointment when this man let up. You got to look at my eye. See if it needs to be clean. They clean it like every couple of years. Like sometimes I can't well, get down in the cabinet. Yeah. Okay. I'll bring, you a little bring me a little boat, yeah. I ain't gonna be able to get down, get down. Put it up. All right, no. That's just raw meat. No, I ain't. I know what I'm saying, though. It's just a lot of meat. It's too much meat for you. You must want my burger. You still got the food in there I gave you from yesterday, that uh, chicken uh, mac. That's about to disappear. You better eat that, too? Oh, yeah. Oh, this is gonna be gone today. So I'm snacking today, boy. I got me some soda. I got me some soda. Oh, DJ, yeah. he eating all your leftovers. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I got them. I have the thoughts in mind as I eat them. It's the thoughts that count. Ain't that what everybody always saying? And the thoughts that count, yeah. Dang. It's the thought that counts. Oh, eat the burger that I'm eating right now. Hey, give us the mama. Get down, get down. Ba-da-doo, ba-da-doo. Okay. Oh man, what? You trying to call me fatty or something? No, I'm not trying to call you fatty. I call you fatty. You still cute you size. Me, you give a joke or anything? I just gave some. Okay. That nigga act like he didn't get nothing. He swallowed it and looked up like oh, next. Yeah, he don't. He don't take time to enjoy his food. I tell my time, you better slow down eating. Take time to smell the roses. He don't. He, he don't. don't. He just put it in his mouth, swallow it. One time, he almost choked on a bone. He almost killed himself. Swallowed the food whole, trying to hurry up. The- he, he didn't know there was some bones in there. And he could always put the bone in that food, but still. Sit down, babe. Still, he did. He just he don't take the time to find the bones or nothing. He just swallow it. He just swallow it. He's a fatty like you. No, no, I'm not talking about Fanny! Here, what? put the veggies and stuff up. Yeah. Oh, see, so you're going to have me sit down again. No, well, just wait a minute. Wait till the show's over. Here. I'm about to it's it's I'm about over. over. I'm, I'm done. Gonna, I'm taking care of this. Quiet! Mercy! Talk non-stop! Huh! About... <laughs> Shut up, boy. I don't talk that much. Well, Do it, y'all. This is our third day. Do it! This is our third day on quarantine on the cam. Our third day, we've been on quarantine for almost two months. I'm talking about on the camp. Oh, I mean, a rope. Oh, on the rope. Yeah, this is our third show. I might do one yes, tomorrow. Yeah, Person I ain't doing me, nothing. I talk too much. I ain't doing nothing. I'm telling me I'm talking too much. You talk too much. Wow, that was so deliberate. Well, once again, thanks guys for stopping through. If you like what you see. Like, subscribe, and comment. Oh, and yeah. as and always, don't to shop at Indiana Valley. Stop. As always, I will talk to you tomorrow. Lord willing. <laughs>